So first, I give a short overview how we have planned this info session. Uh, we start with introducing ourselves. You will get to know the staff members of animation department. Uh, then our project coordinator, Liza, will introduce the animation uh, Estonian Academy of Arts. And I will talk about animation MA curriculum. We have also some of our students here who will uh, talk or open a little bit uh, students perspective. How is, is it to study here? And um, we have also Mario from Academy Management. If we get some more specific questions about admission technical issues, she's ready to help uh, us answering them. And I say also immediately that if anyone have any question, please write them to the chat. After the session, we will uh, go through all the questions that uh, Whatever you would like to ask, uh, please write in the chat. And if anyone has something uh, more personal, would not like to write there, please send an email to me or to Lisa. You will find all the emails on our uh, website that, uh, that it's also okay to, whatever questions you ask, uh, send, send the email. So, but I jump back to the introduction. As I already mentioned, my name is Ulo Pikov, and I consider myself as animation film director and artist, but also a lecturer uh, in the field of animation. I have been teaching animation more than 15 years. Uh, together with uh, Professor Preet Pern, uh, I established the animation department here in the Estonian Academy of Arts in 2006. And in 2007, there was opened international MA course. I defended my PhD in 2018. And from 2021, I'm working here as a professor and head of the department. I have directed more than 20 animated films. I have also written books and articles about animation. Um, my secret passion is to illustrate books. And that is something I also do. Unfortunately, not so much than I would like to, but that's shortly me. And uh, I would now, give a word to our um, head of animation studios, to Sander, who will talk a little about our technical possibilities and how is filmmaking uh, taking place here, more or like from the technical side. And then uh, our project coordinator, Anu Laura, will continue with more like artistic side, how it's organized. That, so Sander, the floor is your, please introduce you yourself shortly and uh, tell us what are you doing. Hi all, hi all, and uh, I am the head of the animation department studios. Can you hear me? Yes. And I'm also a freelance, uh, freelancing animator, sound designer and sonographer and video artist. But uh, my main goal and duty here is to make the students create their nice films here. And uh, I'm the technical guy. I uh, run the classroom, which we have, which are full of uh, our computers and our vacuum Cintiq uh, graphical tablets. Then we, uh, we have also another building, which is uh, full of equipment for making puppet film and uh, uh, 2D puppet films. And uh, between these two main buildings, I am running around, making sure that everything is working and in order. And uh, whenever a student has a problem or a question regarding making their films, uh, uh, I am I am the guy. I am the guy, and uh, I also try to uh, understand what the students, what which materials they need. Uh, where to buy them, where to get them. I'm, I'm, I'm the technical support uh, who is responsible of students making their films. 
Good. And maybe now I will give a word to our project coordinator, Anu Laura Tutelberg. Maybe you will introduce yourself shortly as well and tell what are you doing here. Hi, I'm Anu Laura. Uh, I am a stop motion filmmaker. I also graduated from the same program, this um, MA of animation in Art Academy of Estonia. Uh, and after graduation, I have made a couple of stop motion films with puppets. And now I am uh, teaching the stop motion classes and um, mentoring stop motion projects here in the department. And uh, also, uh, along with uh, Ulo Pikov, we consult students for their projects. So when you come to study and you choose your uh, whatever technique of uh, filmmaking, uh, of animation filmmaking you choose, we will guide you. And if your project is um, stop motion, then uh, it will be mostly me who will help. Uh, and uh, also Sander is a big help for the projects because with stop motion, everything is based on materials, um, equipment, space. So it's a lot of organizing uh, for, for making the film. So me and Sander will help with stop motion and with, uh, as he mentioned, this uh, 2D stop motion, which, which means like a, also puppet, but on a multi-plane table. So that's another technique that, that we support. And um, uh, yeah, <laughs> if you have questions, ask, and I can give you more, more detailed answers. Uh, OK, thank you, Anu Laura. We have also here Lucia, who is a lecturer, teacher as well. And um, she will introduce herself also shortly. Mm -hmm. So hello, my name is Lucia Mursniak. I'm from Croatia, but I've been based in Estonia for many, many years. And uh, I've been teaching here for three years, but I was here since five years giving smaller workshops in the beginning. And my thing is uh, 2D animation, drawn animation and illustration as well. So I've done uh, four films and the latest film now is selected to Berlinale. So, uh, so what I'm doing here, I'm, I'm helping students with a storyboarding class and helping the students who are working with drawn animation. And also I give illustration courses. Perfect, yeah. perfect, thank you. And it's something I really want to point it out that our uh, teachers, lecturers, they are all active filmmakers that as Lucia mentioned, her film, newest film will get international premiere in Berlinale, which is one of the most important, if not the uh, number one festival in the world in a few weeks. Yes, uh, there is also lecturer Sander Jorn, who is not with us uh, at the moment because he's in LA. His uh, film is shortlisted for an Oscar and he's running a um, promo campaign there. He was also a uh, uh, graduate 2012, if I remember correctly. And now he's teaching here as well that all our uh, teachers are active filmmakers. And I think it's something very important. But we come back uh, later to uh, curriculum and, and, and to the different subjects. But I will give a word now to Liza, to our uh, coordinator, project coordinator as well. So please, Liza, introduce yourself. And then after that, you will continue with the uh, school presentation. OK. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Liza. I'm the project coordinator um, also a film distributor here, which means that once you've finished your films, um, I manage sending them to festivals and submitting them for you. Uh, this is because there's many festivals and it's quite difficult for students while they're in their studies or after to manage all of that, uh, as well as many um, festivals have fees. And so the school helps also you submit your films um, 
without you having to pay anything, we as the school fund the submission process as well. So I manage all of that, um, as well as just general student life here. Uh, if you have any questions during your school time and you don't know who to turn to, often students will start with me. Um, I'm here to make sure that everybody has a good time, essentially, <laughs> and uh, everything works efficiently. But yes, um, and then here beside me also, I might as well introduce, we have a student, a current uh, master's student, first year, uh, who just got in last year. So he went through this process quite recently and can also give some more um, answers if you have specific questions about the application process and student life. His name is Christopher from South Africa, so very far away, which is quite cool for us, of course. <laughs> Um, but yes, so I will give a quick little presentation here with pictures. And never mind, because I can't share my screen. Um, Ulo, maybe you can fix this. We had the same problem last year. Um, okay. I made you co-host, sorry. Now you should uh, split this. Okay, and everybody sees the screen. Yes, okay, wonderful. Um, here, very briefly, you can see some of our contact information. Uh, we have an Instagram, a Facebook, which you guys maybe already know about. And this email is kind of the general, it will be sent mostly to me, but I also have another email you can use, which was added to the comment section. And then we also have a Vimeo. Thank you. Okay, so, oh. Okay, about uh, ECHA, um, to start, ECHA has a fairly long history. It was founded in 1914, so it's been around for quite a while. Uh, but the current building that we're in now is very new. It was, I think, established five years ago was when they first finished it. Back when I um, was doing my, or I came into bachelor's, I was one of the first students to be in this building. Um, so yes, that was about five, six years ago. I don't remember anymore. Um, but uh, as you know, we are located in Estonia. Um, you can tell by our little map. And Tallinn is right here, right by the sea, which is quite nice. Um, but as you can see, Estonia is a cold country, lots of snow, and the winters are quite dark. So if you come from a warm country, I do want to give you a fair warning that uh, it can be a little bit of a shock at first. But if you stay busy, work on your schoolwork, hang out with friends it's uh, it goes by quick quite fast and you won't notice it as much um but eka in general i would say has quite um, a warm and well integrated student life so many people from other departments will integrate with each other or mix hang out create little smaller families um it, it's not so stuck to one department only hangs out with their department people, if that makes sense. We try and integrate as much as we can. And the the building is meant to be open so you can go to whichever department you want to and ask maybe to take some of their classes or to do collaborations. This is all possible. It just takes your own initiative and meeting the right people and talking to them. Um, Here's some pictures of our, our life here in the department. Uh, we try and put on as many workshops, um, week-long workshops as we can, which will delve into some like subcategories of animation and things related to animation. So for example, at the top middle, we did a workshop where you scratched on film, uh, previously developed film and you could scratch onto it or paint onto it to create this uh, direct animation as it's called. And then we have a After Effects workshop we did, which now we also have full classes for this, um, as well as in programs such as TV Paint and Blender, we teach all of that as well. Um, sometimes we have little excursions uh, into other parts of Tallinn or Estonia um, we went to uh, Ireland recently at the beginning of this year, at the, during the summer, which was quite nice. Um, and then this photo was just from going to a neighboring little village uh, sort of thing <laughs> around. 
And then we also will invite guest speakers every now and then, guest lecturers, um, professionals in the field, either who are local or international, that they can give you some insight into their work methods and um, production things and such. Yes, <laughs> okay. Um, here's some more pictures of just work in progress. Um, we work in all sorts of materials. And when you start to make your films, you are encouraged to take whichever route you feel is the best for you. Um, and this can really involve whatever material you wish. Um, some people decide to do it on the computer in 3D. Some people decide they want to make puppet films with clay. It, it, it's really up to you. And our advisors will help kind of guide you. There is a lot of independent study that is uh, required. So um, if you decide you want to do, for example, a sand animation, um, we will provide all that we can, but sometimes you might need to study yourself on how to, you know, the theories of or philosophies of sand animation or or find, um, we will help you find people who can teach you better or advise you in these sorts of more specific uh, niches, let's say. Um, and yes, here's some examples of the puppet animation as we do have quite a strong puppet animation culture here in Estonia. Uh, Anu Laura, like she mentioned, she does puppet films, but very nice puppet films, so she's a very good teacher in that, and we very much love our puppet films, so if you want to make a puppet film, please try to come, and we will be very happy to see more people interested in making puppet films. But again, we're okay with anything. We love all types of animation. We also try, um, as often as we can, to travel, especially to other festivals or two festivals. Um, we just took a trip in December to Animateca in Slovenia, which is a very, very cool animation festival. Um, and then the previous year we went to Fredrikstad. We have also been to, I think, Blon animation or animation film festival and Animatrix and various places. Each year we try to go to at least one place. We might be going again in the spring. It's all um, being determined, but we like to travel and I think that's quite important as well. Um, here's our Vimeo. You already saw the link earlier, but if you wanna see more examples of what previous students have made and to get an idea of maybe what we are looking for, the quality of film that we are trying to make, then you can go to our Vimeo and you can see them there and get an idea. There's a large, large variety. And then here again are our, our social media links. Um, yes, I think that's most of that. And I guess I will give this now to Ulo to talk more about the details of the, the actual curriculum, I suppose. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Liza. Um... As I already mentioned, the Department of Animation was established at the Estonian Academy of Arts in 2006. And currently we have around 50 students here. Uh, it's uh, BA, Bachelor and MA uh, Master students together. Uh, students can specialize here in specific animation techniques, as it was mentioned already. Drawn animation, puppet film, cutout, mixed media. The, Department works closely with local studios, mainly puppet film studio, Esti Nuku film, which is um, one, if not the oldest, uh, still working uh, stop motion studios in Europe that uh, with a very long uh, record and history and with very experienced staff members as well that uh, uh, their cameramans and their animators uh, collaborate with us a lot and they come to teach and make courses as well. Every student uh, makes turning the studies minimum two short animated films, which uh, of which one is the graduation film. Um, I would say the it's very practical, hands-on curriculum. 
After graduation, our students are qualified to realize themselves as animated film creators, professionals in creative industries or individual artists. Students who have completed their master's uh, program are also qualified to continue their studies in uh, the doctoral uh, level to, to apply a PhD. And our next admission period starts in February. Uh, in a few weeks, and the deadline for international applicants is March 6. Um, that it's more, more than one month to send your application. Um, and uh, admission interviews will be held in March. Uh, the time is not fixed, probably in the end of March. And uh, the admission interview, it's more like informal conversation based on the submitted materials, mainly the um, uh, portfolio, CV and other materials. But you will find all the information, the deadlines, everything on our website that uh, if you are interested, please visit our website. Also, what you already see from Liza's presentation, the links to our Vimeo, for our blog, for our activity, everything is there. It's, you can see, see what people have done previously, what's going on at the moment. So that's shortly it. I invite you all to join our creative team and make world more animated thank you and uh, maybe our student christopher could comment or add something from the student perspective that uh, how does it work here or how is it to study here ah, thank you uh, hello i'm christopher i'm from south africa um just in general, uh, the kind of thing that stood out the most for me about studying here is this sort of interdisciplinary approach to things. So uh, you're really encouraged to sort of uh, experiment with different types of media. Um, and also uh, one of the best things about this campus is all the resources that are available here. I mean, you've got like access to uh, ceramics department if you need to experiment with you know unfamiliar materials you've got some sewing machines that are at your disposal um, and that's something that's very exciting if you're um, into digital stuff but you want to experiment with tactile uh, art and also vice versa if you come from tactile art and you want to uh, kind of experiment a little bit more with digital techniques there's a lot of resources available and there's a lot of help uh, available. And uh, one thing I really appreciate in terms of the project is that um, you're sort of free to this kind of, you have this kind of freedom to explore whatever medium that yeah, you feel resonates with whatever core concept you have for your project. Um, so in general, that's kind of my appreciation of the, uh, the master's program. Um, the social aspect of being here on campus is really cool. There's a lot of like interesting events um, and very frequent sort of parties and uh, film screenings. Um, we have uh, some some of the classes even arrange like gallery tours, uh, which is pretty cool. So that's quite interesting. And having come from a country where um, I you know I came from a very big city, so. Uh, Tallinn is a really good size just for, you know, walking around um, and it's pretty safe. It's like you can walk around like with your phone out uh, and, you know, just, you know, enjoy your enjoy your life. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the, the cold, if you come from a warm country, the cold is not so bad. Uh, you'll get used to it like very quickly. And then soon four degrees starts to feel like a nice hot summer's day. So, yeah. So... <laughs> Yeah, and from my side, I think that's uh, pretty much it. But if you, anyone has any questions, like um, regarding like the the application process, if you need like an example of the uh, portfolio that was sent in, or like a CV or something like that, you're welcome to contact me. Uh, you can get my information from Liza. Yes. Okay. Thank you. 
So thank you. Somehow I was expecting we have like uh, hundreds of questions and we will, uh, uh, you know, have no time to answer them all, but we have none that... Uh... Make uh, Just in case, uh, if you want to ask a question, feel free to write it in the chat. Or you can ask uh, like yeah. directly uh, or, yeah. We did have a couple questions on that um, sheet. Maybe I can go through those and- Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, give me one second to find it. Okay, so first question is, um, how can international students successfully enroll in the program and what are the visa requirements? Maybe uh, Maria is able to answer that. If she's here. Mm. Yes, yeah, she's coming. Hi, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, okay. I don't have a, a good answer to give at the moment, but I can share a link with the, all this uh, visa information and uh, temporary residence permit information. So I will just put the link in the chat. So, yeah. <laughs> Usually it works this way that if the student uh, get uh, selected, uh, then uh, it will go to official letter from the school, from the arts academy. And uh, I haven't heard that there have been the visa issues in past years, or even in the history of our department that someone couldn't come because of the visa. To be honest, I don't know that kind of case and and we have really international group of students we have like uh, all continents or we we have like from asia from america from south uh, america um, europe of course um, that probably it's not uh, not a problem but the final decisions come from the our uh, police and border guard uh, ministry that uh, that uh, that that school don't give a visas but we give official papers to them that the person is accepted here and we are welcome him to study here Okay, very good. It looks like one question in the chat was already answered. Maria sent uh, a link about the language skill requirements. Um, what are key points that will be considered in the application in the acceptance? Um, we look for quality of work uh, in your portfolio, your own creativity. Uh, we want students who seem like they are ambitious and have the motivation to make good work. And um, and in in the Excel sheet, there was also a question about uh, what does previous um, skill or uh, prior knowledge needs to be. Uh, you don't necessarily have to be directly from an animation background. Uh, we have accepted some student. I think one was used to be an architect or did studied architecture, and then we had one who was in the sciences. However, both showed um, work that was animation that they had uh, attempted to make or that we found good um, and were able to contextualize their previous work with animation. So you don't necessarily have to have a long history. You don't have to have a BA in animation, uh, but you have to show that you are willing to work in animation. So you've done it before, you've tried it out, you have something to show of it. But uh, you can show other works as well. If you're a painter, you can show your paintings. If you're a, you know, an architect, I suppose you can show your architecture <laughs> projects. Um, yes. Um, <clears throat> it, and those language skills. Yeah, she sent uh, uh, for language skills. You will need English. Uh, C, well, no, C one level. Yeah, it's yeah. there's a link follow the link read about it there yes um 
And then on ECHO's website, the application required us to join or to put in an essay of your master's thesis, project, or vision. What kind of work is expected here? Um, this does get confusing. We had questions about it last year. Um, essentially, you should consider what you want to make here for your graduate project and your thesis. You don't have to have everything out perfectly because during the school year, you will be working on that and developing that idea, but how we want to see at least some sort of concept that you have thought of um, so that we know which direction you might be going into. Um, Ulo can maybe also speak a little more about what is expected, but. Um, yes, it's more like a master plan or your idea what you would like to do here as your master project. Is it like a puppet film, drawn animation? Is it uh, um, part of something bigger project? Is it like uh, some gallery project? It's a more like film project or it's... Uh, it's just to understand about your uh, way of thinking and planning uh, to continue as an audiovisual artist, that it even don't have to be very um, animated centered project, but still we hope to see and we educate people here in the field of animation that it should have some connection to animation. Yes. But and and what is also important, what also Lisa said, that it's uh, you don't have to be worried that if it's gonna change or if it's not the final one, that it's totally okay. But but more to understand the direction or the way the the applicants thinks and planning. Thank you. Okay, I hope that answered that question. Um... Uh, yes, I was not able to find a full list of the curriculum on the website. Are there multiple compulsory modules per semester or there's just the main project and selective courses? There are compulsory classes. How many are there? Do you remember how many you had this year? A couple. A couple, three, four compulsory classes per semester, maybe less, and then electives. Um, and you have to complete a certain amount of points each year um, for the elective. So you have to, I don't remember the exact number, but uh, it's like you take maybe two electives each year or so. So one elective per semester, and then you have about two compulsory classes each semester. I believe it's like that. Anyone here can correct me if I'm wrong, mm, but um, a lot of your time will be put into your main project. Um, so it's not like that you have classes every single day from 10 to five. It's more that you have classes maybe three days out of the week and then the other days of the week, um, you're expected to kind of work on your, uh, work independently on your other projects and then your main graduation project and thesis. Um, <clears throat> Can we upload our animation motion works as a demo reel during admission alongside our PDF portfolio? Is there any requirements for the clips? I don't think there's requirements. It can, You can do that, yes, I think. Yeah, it's no problem. It's uh, the idea of this portfolio to introduce yourself, to see your technical skills, your artistic uh, skills, uh, your way of working that, uh, you know, send them in the form, most common form, we can watch them. If you have really like 10 hours of audiovisual material, don't send this, but select the best ones, let's say 10 minutes, totally okay. If it goes a bit uh, over, totally okay. If it's one minute, it's totally okay. It's just to understand what have you done previously. Yes. Is it possible for students to get access to some film funding from agency or festival to perfect the film project? Yes, um, especially if you from your own countries, if you already know of something. I think what they are asking is if it's in Estonia you get funding. Oh, well, you, I'm not sure what, what the okay. question. But can you get funding from Estonian 
not uh, not generally no. Yeah. Okay. So if you have uh, places to get funding from your own countries, mm -hmm. yes, absolutely. Um, but I believe that in Estonia we there isn't this. I, they don't normally give funding to student films. Okay. But to professionals after graduation. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's uh, the general rule. Mm -hmm. We we have some funds and uh, what was mentioned, but it works really case by case. It depends. Uh, or it's not that you get automatically um, some funding, but it's possible to apply. And sometimes there are some works which are combined with some some other project or animation for some theater performances or the students have got uh, uh, support for that but but uh, not automatically and of course we have some funds you can apply uh, for just um, to get support just studying uh, for your studying fees and so on but it's very much individual based and and so on that uh, that we can help uh, or guide with that but uh, but it's, I think, less in everywhere that it's more. Yes, um, and uh, as far, I mean, yeah. And we also have a little bit of, uh, yeah, as a department, we can help with material costs mm -hmm. um, sometimes, but we also do this case by case. And we, we will talk to you and, you know, if you need help, we will help you and we will find ways to help you. Essentially. And also inside the academy, there are some, uh, some stipendies people or students can apply, but uh, they're very specific that it depends. Uh, sometimes there are like only second year students can apply or the, the freshmen or there are some requirements as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, next question. Um, if they have already done an MA in animation, is it possible to transfer some of these module credits? Mm. Yes, uh, but the um, process look like that, that uh, you should apply and we have a special commission for that who will uh, contact your school or who goes through it and, uh, and you can transfer them. It have happened uh, several times with different students and um, it should work. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there's a question about housing. I see that uh, Mario already sent a link about the um, dormitories. We do have dormitories, but you're also asking if it's possible to get in contact with, for example, current students or previous students and um, maybe room together. That is also, of course, possible. Um, you can, if you get accepted, then you can write to me and we can maybe talk to some other department people if someone's looking for a roommate or um, these things are always possible. And they, we also have um, several Facebook pages, one for the whole of or groups, I guess, Facebook groups, where people often will write and say, hey, I'm looking for a roommate or a room. Um, I'm coming to Eka, and usually people are able to find some roommates through that. So that th th this is all possible. Um, is there a possibility of continuing working during the studies? Yes, there is. Many of our students work alongside their studies. Um, some do freelance work, some work at restaurants and bars. Um, it just depends on how demanding your work is and um, if you can if you yourself can juggle two at the same time. But there's no uh, there's no rule against it. Um, are there any scholarship opportunities? If yes, what are the requirements? I do not know. Are there scholarships? Uh, there are a few options. I, I can put a link in the chat. But uh, these uh, scholarships are not like granted for all students. So once you get admitted, you can apply for them. And uh, yeah. And uh, these are not too big. <laughs> so. Some of yes. them are quite small, but still, same thing. But please, uh, Maria, sh uh, share the link if you have, then people have overview. Yeah, I, I put it in the chat. Okay, already. thank you. Um, okay, as there are no more questions here in chat, real quick, I'll go through the ones in the Excel sheet that were not answered yet. 
Um, someone asks if there's more undergraduates or international students. Um, uh, it's uh, mostly currently international students. This was a uh, Estonian asking, but uh, we are we would be very happy to have more stu Estonian students also apply. Um, so don't let that sway you. But uh, the program is in English, so we have a lot of international students apply. Uh, and then, um, what percentage of people applying gets accepted? It depends on how many people apply. Um, and it's a very small class, so I would say small percentage. I don't know how to uh, uh, Last year, or we, we, we take eight students to masters, like eight master students. And uh, applications, there were like 30 or 40 or... I think it was 46, if I remember correctly, like applicants and... Uh, what to do it percentage <laughs> <laughs> well yeah you, if, yes that explains it enough i think um it's it, yeah it's a small selection uh, and then is it easy to find a place to live as an international student what do you think um no i didn't find a place very easily um a lot of the state agents didn't get back to me because i don't speak estonian um and i mentioned to one guy that i was from south africa and he <laughs> He got a little frightened and he, he wanted me to live in his house. Um, but I found this, uh, it's also like a kind of like a hostel type of thing called Larson houses. Um, and they're a little bit expensive, but what's really cool about them is you can tell them, you book it like as if you were booking a hotel. So in a pinch, if you need to stay somewhere for like a couple of nights or like a month or six months or whatever, you can book on the website and within like two or three days you can move in there um, and they've got all the amenities that you would need uh, so that was what i did when i arrived here, just because i couldn't find anything uh, uh that kind of solid yeah. yes but uh, i mean again we do have these dormitories available and um those are usually we have many students in the dormitories um and as far as if you have problems with talking to people in Estonian, there's people here who can help. And and hopefully, yes, you won't have such problems. I would so, say but that uh, usually students start by the dormitory, yes. that they come, they, they, they try to start, um, they apply to the dormitory and they, they live there. And then when they already get to know each other and uh, mm -hmm. you know their the course mates and and uh, ways to connect to other uh, students from the school as well. People start to search for flats together. And uh, there have been some, some legendary flats here, which have always been like student flats, like uh, the, the students just, um, they, they search together for the flat and then they, they keep changing, you know, some students graduate, they leave and others come. And, yeah, but it might be difficult in the beginning. But uh, but just ask for for from us, then yes. ask for help. You know, like don't don't. <laughs> uh, That's what I didn't do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like uh, people when they don't speak English, maybe the the brokers or owners of the houses, they might be just uh, I don't know scared or I don't know. <laughs> but just ask for help then. Yes. But but as much as I have understood the dormitory, the the price and quality and the distance from the school and it's very very good or reasonable and it's uh, it's people can afford it that it's not problematic. And just jumping back to previous topic uh, that about stipendies, I don't know is there anyone from Ukraine? But when the war started, the school made the dormitory for free for Ukrainian students. And also they have like special stipendies and support for uh, uh, studies in Estonian Academy of Arts that uh, the, we, we we have some uh, this uh, support forms or stipendies as well and for example the Ukrainians could apply uh, for very how to say good portion of uh, stipendies mm -hmm. okay um, do animation BA alumni have advantage applying to MA I would say we're more focused on your work. So if you have good work, then 
yes, but um, whether or not you have a BA in animation doesn't, um, because someone can have a BA in, in animation but still make very bad things, <laughs> to say very bluntly. So um, it's it's more about you your own work and um, how strong it is and and how creative. Of course, it is an advantage in the sense that uh, if you if you have studied mm. already in an animation program, then we can also be sure that you have uh, knowledge mm -hmm. about the the techniques of animation and that you are able to animate, and also that you you have already an idea of how much work it is to make an animated film. So in that sense, uh, yes, it's an advantage. But uh, the main thing is what we see in your portfolio what kind of works you present when you are making your application. That's the most important part. Yes. And then the last question here, on average, how many years of study do students have before coming to ECA? It's a good question. I would say we don't have statistics, <laughs> yeah. but uh, the students that we, we have now, I would say some of them are straight uh, uh, from their BA studies, like they, they graduated high school, then they did their BA and then they came to the master's. But we also have students with a lot of um, experience, like in, they have studied different, uh, uh, different subjects, they have already worked, some of them have already worked in animation, and they are all, like professionals already filmmakers so it's very very different the level and the background but again uh, what is important is what you show in your portfolio so that we can we can see what 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 is your artistic uh, level your style the also the amount of work that you are able to 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 do you know like uh, animation is a very time consuming uh, uh, medium so you have to be able to focus on one project for a long time that's what we we kind of uh, evaluate <laughs> yes okay um i think that's all the questions for now if you do think of any more or you are maybe don't want to put it here right now you can um, email me or Hello, but uh, I'm always available. The email is up here at the very top of the chat. Again, you can see it. Did you want to say? Oh, okay, you're just moving. And uh, yes, so yes, you feel free to email me. And then if I don't have the answer, I would know someone who has the answer. That's uh, how it goes. <laughs> yeah, just to wrap it up or to conclude it somehow, I, I think we have very nice. Uh, friendly team who is eager to make own films to help each other making films and um, you are really really welcome to apply here and to be part of our team it's um, waiting to see your work so the 6th yes. of March right. The final deadline, but it's better to send it a bit earlier, then we will get them for sure. <laughs> so, but thank you and hope to see soon your work and later yourself here. So, yes, thank you everybody for coming. Thank, thank you. Okay. And bye. Yeah. Yes, see you soon. See you yeah. soon. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. Bye.